What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and I know two weeks ago we covered the Primal Groudon deck, and this week we're actually wait, what's the last week or two weeks ago? I can't remember. Uh, but this week we're actually covering the Primal Kyogre deck, and actually, like I've always loved this deck. Back in the states, like two years ago, when I played this in Arkansas. It was so much fun to play. Like it's really, really good, and a lot of people have not played it anymore. And I think it still has a lot of like a lot of potential still. So let's go over and let's see what's it about. Now, Primal Gogger. First, let's look at its attack. A Tidal Storm does 150. You move two energy for this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon EX. So what can happen is you can do 150, snipe all the bench for 30. The next turn, license another one up. It take like four prize cards in two turns, which is amazing. And this is why I love prize. Like it's so like this combo is so amazing. It's, it's really really good. I know I'm saying this is amazing a lot, but it's really really nice. Now it's it's trade is nice as well. Uh, it's what makes this deck so good. I think I'm pretty sure because you move the two energies and then Alpha Grove when you attach energy from your hand to this Pokemon, you may attach two energy cards. So you can Tidal Storm. Move two, two energies off the Primal Kogar to a bench. Next turn, Lysander double energy to a Primal Kogar and take a knockout that way, which is really nice. Like, I, I, stop saying really nice, Josh. Come on now. All right, so you can see how the the, the combo like kind of works. You move two energies off, then Alpha Growth lets you move two energies back onto it, which is really cool. So that's what we're going to try to do today. And also, when we move the energies, we're going to move it to another Primal Kogar and all that stuff, which is really good. Now, we do play this Kyogre. It has 180 HP. Water Pulse, start your opponent's active Pokemon that's not asleep. And Giant, Pokemon, Giant War Pulse from 140. Return two Water G. Attach this Pokemon to your hand. Okay, so we're not really going to attack with this guy. We're definitely going with Primal Kyogre. Now, another guy that you can move the energies to is to Regice. Regice has that resistance Blizzard, 70. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. So if your opponent does play Ranger, they can't get through this Regice and they only play EX Pokemon, and they have to lice in around it, which is really nice as well. Uh, so you have these really cool water Pokemon uh, that kind of tank. Like, Primal Color has 240 HP, which is a lot. Like, it's one of the highest Primals in the game. I think, like, the only card that beats is maybe Primal Color, not Primal Color, a Will or DX. So, yeah, that's what we're going to try to do today. Attack with Primal Color and Regice. Now, we do have Manaphy for free retreat. There's a water you attach to it. We have the kill deal with your rush in effects. So that way, if your Primal Color or your Regice is asleep, you can rush in the retreat, which is really cool. One Hoopa to search out three EX Pokemon and two Shaman to search to, or to draw to have six cards in your hand. Now, you could cut a Shaman for a Jirachi to guarantee to support a card if you need one, but your bench is going to be really full, as, which is the only downside. Uh, but Jirachi could be good as well if you want that. And there we go. That's all the Pokemon in the deck. Now, we do play one computer search for consistency, discard two cards your hand, search different card, and two Mega Turbo. So, what the plan is turn one, you attach the energy Kyogre. Next turn, Link, Prime Evolve, double attach with the Alpha Growth, and then Mega Turbo to the Prime Kyogre to, ta to attack on your second turn. It's a lot to do, but it's very, very doable. You'll see in the video where I do get it off. Uh, one Super Rod. And of course, like almost always, four trains about four which about four via seeker for max consistency. Now we play one AZ to return one Pokemon back into your hand. This is just in case your life centers money up and you're stuck in the act spot, like you don't want to commit a water energy to it to give that free retreat. Or you just pick up a damage a cut primal cogar, which is great as well. One course, one uh, two life standard, three in, and four sycamore, or four juniper. We're playing juniper instead of sycamore, same exact thing, discard your hand, draw seventy cards. Cold is really great because you have a full bench, shuffle your hands to deck, then draw number cards equal to number Pokemon on their bench. So if your opponent has five, you have five, you can shuffle draw ten, which is really cool. And of course, we're playing four rough seeds. Once turn each player's turn, that player may hold 30 damage from each his or her water Pokemon and lightning Pokemon, which makes your Primal Cogers even more tankier because now you have Fruit Treat, you can switch them out thanks to Manaphy. You have the water, you have the uh, the rough seeds, kill your Primal Kyogres, and you're pretty good off that way. Now, you could include a max potion as well if you want to, but I obviously did not play on this list. Uh, three Primal uh, three primal Kyogres, Spear Links, so you, when you evolve, your turn does not end, and 12 water energies. And there you go, guys. There's my version of the Primal Kyogre deck. Like I said, a lot of people haven't played this. I imagine this might be because, like, Trevenant doesn't seem that bad because you have the rough seas, which is really nice. Uh, Vest, not Vest Queen. Esogor might be your worst matchup, which we saw come to life over this weekend. You can pretty much be Reku. You can be an Evatol. Dark's probably much your 
pretty like a pretty good matchup because they only have two darks on the active. They can't really do 240 H like 240 damage, which is you know uh, very hard to do. Best McQueen is not really played that much anymore because thanks to Karen, Night March is still kind of scary for sure. Uh, Flare is not played, so I think Primal Kyogre is a really good spot right now to uh, to do well in tournaments. I guess you do struggle with Primal Groudon, but you have Red Eyes, but then they can play Ranger. The things get weird. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see this deck in action. All right, playing is bum 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 all right, maybe we'll top deck Hoopa. That could be really nice. We could have played Floatstones instead to get Keldeus for your tree, but I think Water's fine as well because you only need one of the on the Keldeus with the Mana Feed to get for your tree. Oh, it's a Sceptile deck. All right, so Hypnotoxic Laser trying to put a Keldeus to sleep. Tails, no good. A Vermic Seated Joke coming down. A Grass Energy Deactive. A Hoopa, going to use Scoundering Search for three EX Pokemon. Now, it depends what kind of Sceptile this deck, deck this is. It could be Mega Sceptile, which. It's probably the worst one, but if it's just Sceptile, like, using Unseen Claw, then we actually might be able to beat this. So Sceptile, Sceptile, coming down. Shame coming down, going to set for three new cards. All right, they might take the first knockout for sure, right? <clears throat> they might take the second and third knockouts. Uh, they might take the first four prior cards, but we could potentially uh, be really, still be okay. So we see Gatsis, only putting a Spear Link in there, don't care about that too much. And we're going to play an end, and hopefully with the end, we can find a Hoopa, use Scoundering Search for multiple Pokemon. So in our turn, we get a Rough Seed, so play that down. Halo Keldeo, not that big of a deal, and it's not, still not that very good. We'll just... I'm actually going to Juniper. I know we're just kind of Primal Kogo, but I think we'll be okay. A Red Ice, so much Shrainer's Ball, still looking for an Ultra Ball. And wow, no Ultra Ball, that's pretty bad. So grab Course, put down Red Ice. And unfortunately, we'll have to pass. Put a water energy on the. Uh, water on Red Ice? Yeah, sure. So it has free tree. We've got the Manafi. So yeah, we'll press done. Kyoto is probably going to knock down most likely, right? Like, we're weak. So you can knock out Gun at four price cards. But maybe the Red Ice can tank for a second. Maybe he'll hold his own for a second. And then once again, the big question is does our point of play. The Mega Sceptile version or the not the Mega Sceptile version. Alright, so the Verbic Seated Joke coming down. If they have a Grass Energy, they can Unseen Claw for the knockout, doing a ton of damage to our Keldeo, which is not good at all. Now, luckily, Red Ice, he is not weak to Grass, but our opponent can still knock it out with Unseen Claw. So, I'm putting on a 4 Prize cards. We'll set up Red Ice, and we're going to end him down to 4 cards. Let's see what can we find. Give me an Ultra Ball, and there's a Trainer's Mill. Okay. Steal, no Ultra Ball. Wow. Alright, so press done. Wheel via Seeker. Four and in, put one down to four. And let's see, what can we find? Can we find an Ultra Ball or not? All right, hey, there it is. All right, so Ultra Ball, oh man. All right, so we'll discard, we'll put out Rough Seas. We will Ultra, I don't even know if, if it's in there. Like, this could be a huge mistake. So I'm gonna discard Ultra Ball in the Supra, just in case our Hoopa's not in the deck. All right, but there's Hoopa, there he is. There's Hoopa, all right. And we have one Primal Kyogre prized. Oh, no. Oh, all right. So through Hoopas, use Scoundering Search for three X Pokemon. We'll grab Kyogre Kyogre and a Primal Kyogre. Oh, no, not Primal. A Shaman, okay. So grab those three cards. <laughs> there we go. We'll put down the Kyogre. Uh, put down a Kyogre. Spirit Link, Shaman. Set up for five new cards. Okay, let's see what can we find with this shame. We're looking for at least a water energy. And there's a water energy and a mega turbo, which is fantastic. So water energy, that guy. And we're gonna pass on to our opponent's turn. Alright, so what we're hoping to happen is we top deck a water energy. We can set the Kyogre. Oh, uh, like I said, oh no, we actually can't even we'll have to use like resistance blizzard to actually oh, no, it's so bad. Alright, so 150 plus 70 is enough to knock out this guy. Right? And if they don't play a Ranger, we might be okay. Like, knock out Sceptile. And then hopefully hit another Primal Kyogre. Man, we discard a Super Rod. 
not knowing that the Primal Kaga was discarded, which is very bad. But let's see what happens. Uh, Grash is going to the Scepta, okay. Sycamore going to discard their hand, draw 70 cards. This card's a Lysander. They could have played it, but they would not have knocked us out. Okay, Fighting World Deactic. Can we still knock it out? Yeah, we still can potentially knock it out. Uh, 7 plus 150, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Max looks like going to the Maybe the out. Nope, not going to get anything. And they're going to Claw for the knockout. Now, once again, the big question is, do we top deck another energy right now? So, set in Primal Kyogre. Okay. <laughs> what do we draw into? A oh, water G. Wow. So, put a Primal Kyogre. We will Mega Turbo. Put a water G on this guy. We'll attach a water. Use it twice. Okay. Attach to the Water G, Reg Ice, and we will Juniper discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Alright, there's a Rough Seas, and we have an in for next turn, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do is Titus Storm, do 150 and 32 all of his EXs, okay? Um, we're going to attach the Energy to Reg Ice. One and two, okay? And next turn, we find the Water G, we can resist the for the knockout on the active, which is fantastic. So, there we go. 50 damage, uh, 30 damage to all those guys. And like I said, he has 70, 60 HP left, so we can resist the blizzard for the knockout. There's a grass energy on there. There's a course. And if he doesn't find a laser, he actually can't take a knockout regardless. Now, what he could do is retreat. Send this guy. There's a megaphone. Get rid of the uh, link. Don't care about that. Why would you play that kind of thing? We only have one link. It does have a laser or not. There's a love ball. Probably getting out of Spirit Act, but if he doesn't have anything, we actually might be okay to get another hit off with this Primal Kyogre. So the Spirit Act coming down. And an Unseen Claw. Okay, so 140 damage. Not taking a knockout, which is fantastic. So in our turn, we get a Water G. So we put a Water G in this guy. Uh, do we have a Minafi? We haven't played it yet. So we'll Rough Seas. We will, of course... Show our hands deck and gets nine nine cards. Can we find a Manaphy or not? And I do not see one, unfortunately. So what's Ranger's Mill? Uh, oh, there's Manaphy. He's just staring at us. What a jerk. So grab AZ. And we can't even retreat this turn, unfortunately. Oh, no. If we had held onto a Water Gym, we could have got a tack off. So we'll press done. My opponent will take a knockout going on one prize card. Okay. So we're going to think, what? Oh, yeah, man, it's unfortunate. So we'll love ball, okay? Grab an Ari Dose. Don't care about that too much. We're going to end up putting down to one. That's the game plan. So Ari Dose coming down. Unless he has a license right now, bring a Bread Ice. There's a Skylock under hand. Don't care about that. Unless he plays Switch. So Pokemon Ranger. But we're going to end him down to one. He's going to have one card in his hand. Uh, there's a Poison that's going to Poison our active. We don't care about that too much. So taking a knockout. Going down to one prize card. Okay, so we're going to send him Reg Ice, of course. All right, so let's go Reg Ice. Go, buddy. Get him, Tiger. All right, so we're in him down to one. What will our opponent have? So in our, our turn, we get an in. So put a Water Energy in this guy. We'll play it in. Put my opponent down to one card. Yes, that's fine. And we're going to resist the Blizzard for the knockout. They do play Ranger, but they have to find it. All right, so we get a Manaphy, a Shaman. We're going to train as well, looking for a Spirit Link. Unfortunately, we did not get one, so we'll grab Ultra Ball. We will Ulch Ball, discard Ulch Ball, and a Juniper. Not going to grab it. I would guess we could grab Primal Cogger, but I'm not going to grab it right now. We're going to put down the Shaman. We're going to put down Manaphy, and then the Shaman, instead of five new cards. And we're looking for a Link for the next turn to try to get a tackle off with this, with this Primal Cogger if we draw one off the prize cards. But no Link. All right, so we're going to go for Resistance Blizzard for 70 damage. Knock out the Septile EX. We'll go down to four prize cards, so one to two. We get a Spear Link and, oh, a Computer Surge. That's still not what we need. We need a Primal Kyogre off that. No, okay. So my opponent's going to send a Sceptile, and now it's going to be, we have two turns to knock out the Sceptile, okay? All right, so does he send it the Sceptile or not? Here comes Sceptile. Man, if we had a Primal Kyogre, we could, we get to, we could take a knockout this turn. But it doesn't matter. Okay, it's just, oh, my goodness, a Shaman. Oh, does he find a Ranger or a Lysander, okay? So Shaman going to set up six of the cards. Does my opponent have it? We we see a range. There's a hypnotic laser. We don't care about that too much. Okay. Uh, tails. We're not asleep, which is fantastic. Does he have a Lysander? Wait, how many lasers that? That's his third laser. Okay, that's great for us. And there's the energy going to Ariados. It could go for impound, which is very dirty of them, making him a camera tree. So just a pass. Okay. So I wonder, he could have went for no uh, sleep poison didn't work either. So what do we do? We're rough seas. I'm going to Lysander bring the hoop up and go for Resistance Blizzard that way. So we're going to put Water Energy this guy, use Resistance Blizzard. 
Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna keep Link in our hand right now. Resistance for 70. Okay, so bring it to 100 damage. And my plan is now is to... Man, that uh, that already does so scary. The impound will make us pretty much lose the game. So if it makes CD jump coming down, okay, we can count that 100%. And there's a grass and you're going to already Like I said, that's not a good thing for us. So Poison's Nest, because we can't retreat our Pokemon. Oh, no, we don't have Keldeo. But we do have AZ, so AZ could save us. All right, so I'm going to link this guy. I'm going to computer search, discard one and two to grab a rough seas. Okay. Grab the rough seas. We'll put that guy down. We'll heal our reg ice. <coughs> okay. Uh, water G the Kyogre. And we will via sicker four and in. Put my opponent down to one. We get four. And hope we can find an in. I mean, a, a via seeker. Okay, all right. There's, oh, wait, AZ. There's AZ for next turn uh, to get the tag off with the Kyogre. So we'll go for this Blizzard. 470. Knock out of the Hoopa. All right. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. We'll draw two. My opponent could have Ranger hit, hit Ranger right now. But no, no Primal Kyogre still, which is not good. I mean, we. Oh, man. If he sends an Aridos, he could take a knockout, right? Oh, he must have Ranger. Like, there's no way you can out if you don't have the wind in your hand. Like, why would you do that? Okay, going to draw a card. Sycamore, all right, so I'm fine with Sycamore right now. Okay, so Sycamore going to discard his hand, draw seven new cards, okay? And he has one laser left. We did not hit the Primal Kyogre. Switch into the Ariados, okay? So we're going to take a knockout with the Giant Whirlpool for sure right now. Uh, so via Seeker for a Skyla, he still has yet to play a Lyson. Oh, he has Lyson in discard pile. He could have played it right there, but he actually opts not to. So on to our turn. We get a via seeker. Okay, so we're in a rough seas. Wait, I think our plan right now is he has Skyla, right? Does he have a. Uh, how much energy is this? So, one energy street cost. Summon a via seeker or a Lysander. I'm actually going to bring up that Sceptile on the bench. And hopefully, he doesn't have energy or way to retreat this off. That'd be fantastic. We could go for Ice Beam to paralyze it, but he might have another switch. We'll put an energy on this guy, and we'll go for another Resistance Blizzard for 70. If this Sceptile stays in the Axe Spot, we actually can just win right now. So 100 damage, take 10 damage, poison, okay. On to our opponent's turn. Does he have a Ranger? Does he have an energy? Does he have a switch? This is Skyla, okay. And what will he get with the Skyla? It might, he'll probably get a switch. Um... There's a Pokemon Ranger, which you can't, you don't, we don't care about Ranger too much right now. Does he have energy to treat the Sceptile? That could be, the, okay, nope, there's Grass Energy, okay. So he's going to use Impound, uh, we can't retreat, we're going to send the Sceptile actually, okay? And that's actually going to be the game, oh my goodness, because what we can do now, my opponent made a huge misplay, because now what we can do is just retreat into the Pro Kyogre, and a Giant Whirlpool for the Knockout, so yeah, we'll send the Kyogre. It will take a knockout with the giant Whirlpool to win the game. Why did my opponent retreat like that? Oh my goodness, guys. We made the comeback of the century. We did it. We made... Oh, we did it. We prized... Oh, wait. Do we only play... Where are the other Primal... Wait, do we only play two Primal Kyogres? Hold on a second. No, three Primal Kyogres. We prized... Oh, we, we discarded one, had one field, and prized the other one. My goodness. We made a huge comeback against the Septile deck. Oh my goodness. That's so exciting. I don't know why my opponent... Went. Why did he sit the set down? Why did he not go for the impound making where he couldn't retreat? Who knows? Like, maybe he realized he couldn't have one if he kept going for impound. So maybe that's why he decided, like, impound wasn't going to be enough damage kind of thing. I don't know. But, guys, we see one more game with the Primal Kyogre deck. We took down a mech. We took down a set down deck, which we're weak to, which is fantastic. So let's see what happens in the next game. Hopefully, it's another victory with the Primal Kyogre deck. All right. So we're putting against a Avius playing eight colors. Fire and a water deck. I just currently stubbed my toe and it hurts so bad. Um, <laughs> but last time we played against deck that we got hurt for playing weakness, like we played against our weakness and now played against their weakness by playing against a fire deck, which is fantastic. But they're probably playing like baby Volcanian. My toe hurts so bad. We just gotta hope they're not playing Pyroar. Like Pyroar, I mean, Pyroar's not auto loss. What talk about it. Primal Kyogre? What I don't know what I'm talking about. Just shh, don't worry, shh. be quiet, guys. We're good, we're good. All right, so two Pokemon coming down, and my toe is still throbbing so bad. Oh, my goodness. But three Pokemon coming down. We'll press done, and we'll get a new hand of seven. Let's see. What can we find? All right, so we'll start Kyogre, sure. Oh, here we go first. I can't remember. We're not going first. We should have let off a Rhydrice. 
But whatever, we'll be fine regardless. Uh, so gonna draw a card, and I don't know what we're playing against. So we'll train as well. <laughs> we'll grab a spear link. Uh, wait, do we already have a spear? No, we don't have one. So we'll grab a spear link. Put that on the active. Put down a reg ice water, and we will play it in. Bring up players a new hand of six. Oh, right. no, this is not good. Okay, so we will end our turn onto our opponent's turn. I mean, we have Pramacogra, double water, rough sea, so we can heal that, that arrow blitz damage off. Maybe hit an ultra ball, water, mega turbo attack next turn. Like, it's still really hard to do, but it's very highly. It can be done. Uh, we would knock out the active because we do 150. But we're not going to hit any of the bench. So, Runler Skates, head's going to draw three new cards. Okay. Muscle Man going to the active, so now they're here for 60. Trainers might look at the top cards of their deck. Okay. Uh, gonna grab a Wally, so they could get a Braxian out this turn if they wanted to. Huh. So Wally to Braxian. Or, yeah. Yep, Braxian coming down. I guess they could have grabbed Talonflame Break if they wanted to, maybe. So Braxian coming down. And what else does it? So Air Blitz for 60, right? That's fine. We have Rough Seas. We can heal that down to 30. Prime Cog or Double Water. If we can find Ultra Ball Water Mega Turbo, my opponent will be so like I'll be mad at myself because I'd be really good. So they're gonna put two cards in their hand. Doesn't matter. We have him. We're like, nope. You don't. You don't need this card. They're not good for you. All right. So in our turn, we get an Ultra Ball. I think I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Discard a Water and an In to grab a Hoopa. There he is. All right. The man, the myth, the legend. Hoopa is here. All right. So put down Rough Seas. We will rough Caesar Kyogre. Put a Prime Kyogre in the active. Use Hoopa. Search for three EX Pokemon. And we are going to find a Kyogre. Uh Manaphy and a Shaman. Alright, so 33 cards coming in our hand. So one, two, three. We'll put down the Kyogre. Put down the Manaphy. But down a shame, and can we hit two waters right now and a mega turbo? I'm not sure if they're all in the deck, but come on down. And all right, so we hit double water. So let's attach that. Yes, that's another water. Be a secret for an end to get rid of that card in my opponent's hand. And can we find a mega turbo to get this attack off? Come on down in. Come on, baby. And oh, oh my goodness. I feel so bad for my opponent. We will get attack off. And we have two water G's for the next turn as well to continue the Wombo Combo. So put a water G on the active. And that's just how good this deck is. Like, we got to turn to Tidal Storm, dude. 150. We're going to move two water G's from this guy onto our Kyogre. Oh, man. I did not think that would happen. But, man, we did it. All right. But we'll take one prize card, so that's another thing to note. So we get a course, which is fantastic. We can get a bunch of new cards. Does our opponent send up Entei or the Delphox or Braxley? We're taking a knockout regardless of who they send up. But can they hurt us? Uh, how much can they do right now? I mean, Heat Tackle. They do 170. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They can do 200 damage, I think is max. Six, no, 190. If they have double Silver Wrangle 190, which is still not even enough for a knockout, they have double Silver Wrangle because Entei does have the Theta double to last two tools. So far, a, a Burning Energy going out to the Braxian and an end. So both get a new hand, we get five, they get six. So unfortunately, two of the waters will go away. All right. But there's a Link, a Juniper. Oh my lord, this is amazing. So put a Link down, Old 12 for Primal. There's an Evo sort of free. Delphox, most likely, but guys, like, it doesn't matter what deck we're playing against, like, we have a very great, uh, turn, even, even they knocked us out somehow, we have a Spear Link, we have an Ultra Ball, we get into the Primal Kyle Growl, keep the combo up, there's a Via Seeker, Ford Wally for the next turn, but we're taking a knock on the active, we're not, we don't care about Slice Storm, like, Slice Storm could, wait, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 right now, there's two fighters going through their hand, okay, but Side Storm is not going to be enough to not even knock out a Primal Kyogre. And we have Rough Seas as well. Like, oh man, this deck. Like, I don't know why. I guess, I mean, I know why people don't play this deck that much. Like, they don't think it's very good. But it's it's very interesting for sure. So we get a Rough Sea. So put down the Spear Link. Ultra Ball. Discard 1 to 2. We'll get a Primal Kyogre out. Okay. Put that down on the Bench Kyogre. And we will Juniper discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Can we find two Water Gs or not? Come on down. There's one. And oh, we whiffed the second one, unfortunately. So Rough Seas. Uh, we will Trainer's Mail, which we can't even really grab anything. Oh, there's three Waters right there. My Lord. All right. So we'll touch a Water to this guy. And unfortunately, we had to press Done. Like, we can't do anything. Uh, next time, we can Via Secure for, uh, for an end, maybe. 
I don't know where to discard all this stuff. But, I mean, we're, we're facing the main process now. We're going to constantly take knockouts, switch between two Kyogres, which is what you want to do. Uh, fire Jungle to that guy. Wally to the, uh, to a Delphox break. But he's weak to water. Like, it doesn't matter too much. Like, we're just going to one-shot it, which is fantastic. And right now, it's only do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's do 140. We've already healed all the damage off of that Rough Seas. There's a, uh... A Flare Witch, touch a Fire Energy from... What's your turn before you attack? You may search deck for, for Fire Energy attached to one of your Pokemon. So we'll put a Fire Energy in the active, okay? But that's just gonna knock down if we hit a Water Energy. So we get a Spear Link. We'll put down a Hoopa. Because all we really need is these two Kyogres. And we're gonna... I think we're just gonna Juniper. Like, I don't care too much about the life standards. We're just gonna knock out whoever's in our way. And we got a Water Energy. I got so scared for a second. The so Water Energy this guy will use the Tidal Stone for the knockout. And I'll move two water juice from this guy to the bench, Primal Kyogre. All right, so there we go. Moving one to two. Rest done. And now we have the Fear Tree, the Manaphy, which is amazing. We've got four prize cards. There is a water energy, okay. Maybe we can start powering up this Red Ice just mainly as well if we need to. But does the point of having another Pokemon or not? There's a Fire Juice Deactive. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's only 180. There's a Blacksmith. Are they going to one-shot us? Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They're still going to do 220, which is not enough for a knockout. Just, just let that sink in. Like, we have ton. We're going to hit for 220. 240. Oh, 240. Okay, so he's actually going to knock us out now. Wow, so he has six energies on the active. Uh, he will knock us out, but we're going to knock it out next turn. That's amazing. He just flicker flames. He actually went for Flickery Flames instead, and we don't have Keldeo on the field. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So we'll heal, we'll heal with Rough Seas. Did he not have enough to knock us out with Psy Storm? I think he did, but he opted not to do that. Man, our Kel we discarded our Keldeo. Man, if you had another Keldeo, Keldeo Ninja Boy might be really good at this as well. So put a Water Gym Red Dice. We oh wait, do we have an AZ in this car, pal? Oh, no AZ, unfortunately. Oh, no, we had an AZ. We could just AZ the Primal Kyogre or take a knockout this turn. All right, so we'll, of course, uh, shuffle our hands and deck and get five new guards. That's fine. I just want to put in the discard pile. Uh, there's Super Rod, Juniper, Trainer's Mail, so press is done. Do we wake up and tell us we do not wake up? Does the opponent find another Pokemon or not to put down this turn? Oh, man, it's actually really funny now. Okay, so, uh, there's a, okay, there's a Volcanium coming out, so there we go. So they can't take a knockout. There's an end. We'll go down to four. They go down to six. But, I mean, I mean, my opponent could maybe make a comeback for sure. So, there's Ultra Ball, Super Rod, okay. So, he's going to get a knockout for sure this turn. There's a Finnegan coming down, okay. So, he's going to take a knockout. Going down to four. There's a fire, uh, Burning Engine going to Finnegan. And, there's a, another, another, uh, he's going to Flare Witch again. Wait, Flare Witch, Touch of Fire Engine for his Pokemon, okay. And let's see, who does he start attached to? He's going to attach to the Finnegan, okay. But I mean, as soon as we knock out this guy, he's not going to have any more energies in the field. And that's what he really needs. So Flicker Flames for another 40. Hey, as we finally wake up. All right, so in our turn, what do we get? We get a VS Seeker. So we're going to Super Eye. And there's a Venture Screen coming, up, opponent, coming down. My opponent is probably just trying to Flicker Screens forever. Try to set up multiple Delphoxes. Foxes. Like I said, they could have taken a knockout. But, I mean, we're in such a good position no matter what deck we were playing against. Like, I know the Sleep Flip was, like, the only, like, not, like, the, bleh, 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 like the, the Sleep Flip was, like, the kind of the worst part. Like, we could have won earlier. Uh, but Sleep Flips don't matter too much. When we discard a Keldeo, you could play, maybe, like, like, like I said, play a Ninja Boy and more Keldeos in, in your deck as well if you want to do that. Which seems pretty interesting as well. Like, this deck is so good. There's a lot of different things you can do to it, and a lot of people have been playing it. But is it good? I don't know. I don't know 100%. I have to test against more decks in the meta, but it's definitely interesting for sure. I do like it a lot. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Thursday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.